Turner, Marvin Turner. Making his first appearance on Georgia Championship Wrestling in quite a while, an outstanding internationally known wrestler from Houston, Texas, at 242 pounds, here's Paul Jones. Paul Jones, your referee, Nick Patrick. Paul Jones moving out against Marvin Turner, one fall with a 10-minute time limit on this match. Referee Nick Patrick waiting now, uh, signaling for the bell. Jones, of course, as you heard by his introduction, a man of international acclaim. And you can see why right there. Beautiful uh, roll on a duck under, go behind, floats over the man, uh, kept him under partial control. Turner finally slipped away. Jones uh, compactly built, very dangerous again, utilizing that leg takedown and uh, scissors in. He uses uh, his legs uh, extensively in a match. Absolutely. You know, Paul Jones here is one of the greatest wrestlers, of course, that have ever been around. He has been not only once, it's not easy to win the world's championship once, of course, because uh, that's not an easy thing for anybody to do. There's only five, ten people every century that win it. But Paul Jones has managed to be the world's tag team champions twice. Not when that is a true sign of a champion. He is not only built low to the ground, but I admire him because he's what you call a seasoned pro. He's a man that can not only think in there, but does not get forgiven, ever get tired because of the amazing shape that he keeps himself in. Always knows where his body is. His center of gravity is tremendous. Here exclusively is a wrestler that no one can copy, and there's only one of a kind, and that is Mr. Paul Jones. Yeah, that's a good point by uh, Rod Piper, and I might point out uh, Paul is known amongst his uh, fellow competitors as a wrestler's wrestler, and this, I think, uh, stands well. Of course, he's been campaigning uh, uh, throughout oh, North and South Carolina. Uh, he's been in uh, tremendous demand all over the United States, in Florida, in uh, Oklahoma, Texas, you name it. Uh, Texas is proud to call him one of their own, uh, one of their native sons, but he is a man now that really belongs to the world. He's a man of international repute. Absolutely, Mr. Soli. And you can see, right, he doesn't fear a whole lot here. Now, this young fellow, he's going to have to, he did the right thing there. Now, people say, oh, yeah, you're a coward because you're ducked under the rope. That's because people don't know. People don't think. That man did the right thing. Back away from a man. Sucker him into what you want. You see, fool him. Make him. It's science. It's like chess out there, ladies and gentlemen. Nice takedown by Paul Jones. And Paul Jones has got that to an art. Turner grimacing in pain now as Jones continues to keep tremendous pressure on him. And let me just say this about Turner. Uh, here we have a man uh, built uh, quite similarly to uh, Paul Jones and uh, has studied Jones' tactics and uh, methodology in the ring. Beautiful uh, chin lock takedown by Jones. And Turner, I think, is extremely well prepared for this man. But I think there was one thing that films can never show, videotapes can never show, and that is that personal one-on-one -on -one explosive capability. Absolutely, and Paul Jones certainly has that. You see, now what you do here, what you're saying, Mr. Soli, is 100% right. He, he's got the same size as Jones, has the same kind of wrestling style, but what you do when you're fighting a man and you know his wrestling style, you fight. if you're going to fight a wrestler, you box him. If you're going to fight a boxer, you wrestle him. You do something he doesn't know how to do. Now, Jones here is like myself. What he's done, he's been a professional efficient boxer. He is, of course, a tremendous wrestler, being a world champion. He has also, not only in that, in jiu-jitsu, I know all forms, not because I want to apply them in the ring, but because I have to know how to combat everything there is, because fighting is my life, like Paul Jones, and that's what he has managed to accomplish. Turner now pressing his advantage on Jones, and Jones reverses as Turner back to the far turnbuckle, doubles him up, catches him with an elbow to the uh, base of the skull, and it is uh, Jones now driving a knee into the uh, lumbar region of uh, Marvin Turner, and those uh, vertebrae have to be taking a lot of punishment now, and that, of course, is going to slow the reaction of those legs. Uh, it's going to make it more difficult for Turner to move, and uh, once... Whoopsie! Yeah, well, you see, that's fine and dandy. Wait just a moment. Come here, help this guy out. Yeah, well, if I did come in there and help him out, Mr. Paul Jones, it would not be a very Merry Christmas, would it, uh, for you? Ho, ho. Uh, you see, now, there's an instance where I've told you what a great wrestler he is, and he is absolutely a great wrestler. But after all, he does need recognition, and being just standing beside Roddy Piper is recognition. He would like to fight me. Everybody would like to fight me, because if you fight me and beat me, you have instantly made a name for yourself, you see? Now, I don't have to do it, because I have everything to lose and nothing to gain, being the best that there is. But, Mr. Jones, you go right ahead, and you see what you can do with this young man here, because you ain't beat him yet. 
Mr. Piper is a man of extremely quick wit, as we've uh, just discovered, and it is Marvin Turner delivering some hard punches, uh, catches uh, Jones coming off the ropes right at the belt line. Jones retaliates a beautiful forearm into the side of the job. Marvin Turner, and Turner could be in trouble here as Jones connects with a hard right hand, another one that rocks Turner, and a third one that puts Turner to his back. And it is... Uh, that electricity about Paul Jones that makes him the kind of competitor that he is. Turner down and in trouble. Jones set. Turner starts moving in. It's Jones catching a good shoulder block. Turner coming up very slowly now. And Jones catches him once again. Yeah. Catches him right about the hip area. Well, he's famous for this leg lock, I must admit. And I could get out of it. I don't know if this young man here can. But then again, getting out of it isn't important, Jones. It's getting it on, isn't it? But then he can do that, too. Mr. Paul Jones. <laughs> the Indian Deathlock, and uh, well executed by uh, Paul Jones, as you uh, heard just a moment ago. And so Paul Jones making his first appearance here on Georgia Championship Wrestling in 